guys, it is, I always forget the date. It is the 6th of January. This morning, I actually got my eyebrows done. Thank God it has been so long. It's been much before Christmas since I've got them done. And I really need to like shower or just like fix my hair. And I actually went and got my nails done because my nails were chipping so bad. On the way home, I was so tired. I was like yawning so much because I stayed up late last night editing. Um, I got a vanilla almond milk latte from this cute little bakery that I tried out this morning. It's so yummy. Honestly, I'm ready for some water and a healthy breakfast. I got a package in the mail from Topshop. So I know what this is because I ordered it like three weeks ago and it takes a long time because it's like in the UK or whatever. So we are gonna open it. Hey. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. So ever since I got my two coats on sale on Black Friday, I've been loving my coat so much and it's just been cold and rainy. So I found this one on Topshop for a great price and it is so beautiful and I read the reviews and they said it was amazing. This is like a camel color beige coat. It is so cute, I am obsessed with it. It's adorable. Actually this coat I think fits the best out of the coats, the couple coats that I do own. Super cute. I love this zipper detail right here and I think it's, it's really, really soft. Super cute and it's raining today and I need to pick up my room, you know, if my makeup, if I would just put my makeup away, my room would look a lot cleaner. And I didn't have time to make my bed before I left. So, and then my desk is messy from last night. Anyway, I'm going to go fill up my water bottle and I'm going to read my devotionals and I'm going to just get going on this day for editing and stuff like that. So I'm excited. I think today is going to be a really good day. It's rainy and I can't wait to just sit down at my desk and make a cup of tea and work. I also have to do some laundry because this is getting ridiculous. We are going to have a productive day right now. You are going to clean my room with me again and I'm actually redoing my bed. Not like totally redoing it or anything like that but I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be redoing this whole like kind of seashell situation back there and then I'm getting some new pillows when we move. So for my bed theme I'm going to tell you what it is. It's going to be pink like a light soft pink and then gold white and then gray. I bought some cute little pink coral that I'm going to put on my bed like my side bed tables and then I think I might get new side bed tables because I've had these for almost definitely been four years since I've had these tables they're really really cute they're these um, like kind of mirrored ones but it's actually the mirror is shattered I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell I totally cracked the side of the mirror as you can see right there and then the crack goes all the way to the other side so yeah you guys should definitely leave like suggestions of like decorations Got the face mask on, obviously. This is my favorite face mask. It's the Lush Magnuminty face mask. I feel like, it, this is what it does for me. I feel like when I take it off, it makes my skin so much brighter and really, really smooth to the touch. I feel like it really helps to shrink my pores. It really cleans my skin. And I feel like it almost helps to prevent breakouts. I can kind of feel it tingling in like certain spots. And I keep it in the refrigerator. You don't have to do that, but I always keep all my face masks in the fridge so that I can put it on and it's kind of like a cooling feeling. Cleaned up my room, totally cleaned it, wiped down every single surface in here. It's like unbelievably clean. The only thing is that that's not clean, but whatever. I just have some books in my laptop and stuff like that there. So anyway, that doesn't matter, but got everything else clean, literally wiped down that, um, dusted off this, cleaned this whole area. The only thing that I'm working on right now is laundry. So I'm, I have a load that's going in right now and then I'm gonna be doing laundry like throughout the day, but I totally cleaned and cleared off my desk. This is what it looks like right now. 
You guys, I am obsessed with this sign. I think it's so cute. This is by my friend Ruth Simons and she runs the shop Grace Laced. So I will leave her um, shop like in the description box because it's so cute and I think it's so pretty on my desk. I got my headphones and my water bottle and some berries that I'm gonna snack on. My favorite flowers, my pink carnations and everything like that. So I'm gonna do some planning right now. So yeah, I'm gonna get up my vlog right now and I'm also going to work on planning some blog posts and things like that. Hey guys, so I am actually gonna whip up some Brussels sprouts and I feel like I talk about these a lot but I never show you guys how to make them and maybe I have before but I'm gonna show you right now so that you can make them too, very, very easy. What you wanna do is you wanna grab your olive oil and put it in the pan and you wanna make sure that your heat is up pretty relatively high, kind of in the beginning you wanna start, sorry the dishwasher's on, but start it out high and then lower it a little bit so that you kinda get a nice hot oil because you want the Brussels sprouts to get crispy but you don't wanna burn them. So you wanna have it on a medium heat after you've heated it on high for a while. I am using organic local Brussels sprouts. You wanna pretty finely chop them so that you can get an even cooking because Brussels sprouts can be very, very bitter and they can taste um, just kind of gross if I'm just being honest. But if you season them well, they can be amazing and full of flavor and very healthy a great cruciferous vegetable so anyway we're gonna put this in the pan hi I'm getting down here to talk to you but you want to hear kind of like a when you put it in that way you know that your oil is hot enough to get the Brussels sprouts crispy so let's go ahead and see if we hear that noise yes we do all right that is the noise we are looking for so I'm gonna saute these for about three minutes now what I'm doing, I know it's kind of steamy and loud, but you wanna add a tiny, tiny bit of water and then cover it with a lid so that you flash steam them because you don't wanna have them taste bitter. That's why we're gonna flash steam them for like two minutes. It's gonna make them a little bit softer while still keeping them crispy and it's going to really take that bitterness out of your Brussels sprouts. Now we're gonna remove the lid. So all in all, these are gonna cook for about seven to eight minutes very, very quick. And now we are going to put a little bit of pepper a little bit of salt, fresh ground pepper, really good, and then you wanna add just a little tiny bit of honey. We are literally talking like not even a teaspoon or anything like that, literally a drizzle, that's it. And then you wanna add just a splash of the balsamic vinegar. Um, you don't wanna add too much because you don't wanna add that bitterness in it, but we do want the flavor of the balsamic vinegar, so. That's gonna be good. Okay. Finally, you wanna add in your coconut aminos, which we're gonna add in a lot. All right, there you have your perfect Brussels sprouts. They're gonna be delicious, and that's how I make them. So my late lunch is officially served. Oh wow, I did not realize it was already 4.15. That's crazy, but this is what I'm having, so I'm gonna show you. We have the Brussels sprouts that I hope you guys enjoyed me showing you how to make. Some more blueberries, because I love them. Avocado with salt and pepper, and then an egg, and then also an egg white. And that is what I'm having. It's so delicious. Lots of healthy fats, protein, good veggies, and fruit. Got my little water right here. And yep, I am just eating and working. Fluffy hair from being up all day, but I just am getting up a vlog right now, which is great. Got the thumbnail done. My first vlog of the year, which is so exciting, so you guys should go watch it. I really like my new um, background. I just found it online. I think it's so cute. And I'm drinking some green tea right now, which is very, very good. good morning, everyone. We are officially one week into January, which means it's January 7th. Got the crazy messy morning hair. I really need to wash my hair this morning. It's like so gross. So I went downstairs and made myself a cup of coffee, which my coffee is really good this morning. And I have my heater going because it's freezing. So I got my little baby heater. Anyway, now I get a lot of questions. I actually get tons of questions, which I'm gonna really try to start answering more of your questions. You guys ask me what books I read, what music I listen to, what pastors I listen to, what sermons I listen to. And so I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna try to tell you as much as I can. So this morning I'm reading Proverbs chapter 28. Where does it start? There it is. Um, sorry, I thought I flipped the page, but um, Proverbs chapter 28. And I really like John Corson, so I'm listening to his sermon on Proverbs chapter 28. That is what I'm doing this morning. And then I have my little pen and paper, and I got my cup of coffee, and that's what's happening. Took a shower, watching my sermon, and now we're gonna make me the bed. <laughs>
a few hours, I think, since I've last talked to you. I've been working on blog posts and on videos and editing and stuff like that. Got some food from Whole Foods, some chicken and veggies, and yeah. Also, I've been seeing a lot of like cute little pink hunter boots online. Anyway, so I wanted the pink ones, but apparently they're like extremely hard to find and rare and like the matte ones like I'm not talking about like the shiny regular pink ones but the matte ones are especially difficult to find because I don't know if they're gonna continue making them I just don't know maybe it's just the season and so I randomly found some girl was selling hers on eBay that were like brand new and she was selling them for less than they're regularly priced at so I was like heck yeah they are so cute and I love my red ones so 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 much that I was like I'm gonna get these because I'm gonna wear them a lot even when it's not raining I think they're so cute I know such a girly color to get like I could have totally gone with like black but I was like no I have to get pink I'm gonna keep working I'm gonna eat my food and finish this video I'm probably gonna make an Arbonne fizzy stick because I kind of feel tired it's almost five o'clock which is crazy because it's like getting to be lighter outside oh Oh my gosh, who is excited for the Pretty Little Liars five years forward? Oh my gosh, I think it's coming out on Tuesday, is that right? Is it Tuesday? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be in LA on Tuesday. Anyway, I cannot wait for the Pretty Little Liars five years forward thing. Like, it's literally exciting to me to think about. I just, I am obsessed with Pretty Little Liars. Like, and I'm one of those people that I'm, I, I'm very skeptical about things and I don't really, I don't watch any other TV show except for that. And I'm actually really excited for the Full House on Netflix to come back. But I've loved Full House for like years. So like, there is a very select number of shows and like TV stuff that I watch and like, Full House is old, and then Zoe 101 is the other one that I watch, and I love Zoe 101, and that's old. And so it's kind of like, I don't, I don't like watch like TV now. But Pretty Little Liars, I love. And it is such a good show, and if you're like a skeptical, because everybody loves it, and like whatever, it's just so good, and it, it's, it's just my favorite. I feel like there has only been one really, really, really cheesy episode, and other than that, I've loved it, I think it's great. Oh, I'm just so excited! There's just so many changes and I feel like I don't know how well it's going to flow with it. Sorry if you're like not into Pretty Little Liars, but if you are, I wanna talk to you about it right now because I'm excited about it and I know that you are too. And I just wanna see because A was such a, you know, that was the main thing of Pretty Little Liars and now that we're going into the five years forward, like I just don't know how they're gonna smoothly um, transition it, especially because it is five years and like, I just, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm looking forward to see how they produced the next season of the show because I feel like it's gonna be really, really amazing or it's gonna be really a, it's like, I think it's gonna be a hit or miss. So, but either way, I'm gonna watch it because I've just invested so much time into Pretty Little Liars that I'm just gonna watch it anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna eat and edit. So that is my thoughts on Pretty Little Liars. It's almost 11 o'clock now and I've actually been editing for a little bit and now, I'm gonna get ready for bed and go to bed. I don't know what I really vlogged today or how interesting today's vlog was. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.